bird so I don't get too much gold over it. And I'm gonna paint this top frame up here with the golden ticket. The bottom I painted with uh, and used, uh, I used tarnished pearl on the bottom with some, also with some chateau inlays. So I'm coming in here, I'm painting this all gold. While it's wet, I'm putting the uh, chateau transfer on top of it. Here we go. A nice gold coat going. Tiptoe into the little whitish area down here. And I'm going to, let's see, I got like this little round part up here. I'm going to place that strategically if possible. Oh, and I got some really cool elements here. Okay, let's do this. it a little bit more. I'm going to wet it down with my mister. Right here. I'm going to get into these cracked areas right here. I'm going to take my brayer smush it a little bit. It's still really wet. I probably need to take up some of this water right here. And I'm going to go a little bit in underneath here, too. Oh. Oh, missing opportunities here. Let's see if we can get this laid back down again. Tuck it in. good. Now I'm going to do this side over here, kind of hoping for a really like nice transition from bottom to top. So whitish on the bottom, goldish on top, and then what ties it together is the chateau inlay on top of it, giving it kind of this random, but not quite so random, uh, pattern. I'm going to paint in here. When you go heavy on the paint and you lay an inlay down on top of it, you often get, unless you smooth it out really well, you'll get wrinkles. The wrinkles can be actually super cool and give it like a, um, an even more vintagey look. All right, let's see what we can. Notice how I'm painting in over the red here with my gold, kind of hitting that wreath a little bit. All right, now I'm going to, this is a nice big piece. Let's see here. Hmm. I really like what's going on here. Oh yeah, look, I ripped it, oh no. Put that down here. Actually, tuck it in right here. And I got some really pretty flowers like this.
Now what happens is the paint that's on the inlay gets activated between the paint that it's on top of, the wet paint that it's on top of, and then the watering happening from the other side will help to release whatever little goodies are left here. I know I want, get that right there. I'm gonna find a little scrap. Let's see here. See this little thing right here? Let's see if we can get that right there. All right, this part right here. bit right there underneath that. Hose it down. I think I've mentioned it already but this is like this will be my third use of this inlay. It's probably my last. All right. Big thing is just making sure the majority I'm doing this more to make sure that paint whatever paint is left is gonna get smushed down onto the paint, the gold underneath it. Come in here. Now I use my hands out here, press that down, and now we just let it dry. And we'll come back in a little bit and do the magic reveal and see how cool it looks and then decide what we're gonna do next. Thanks for sticking around.